Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. I'm continuing our HTML5 Android project. On my last video, I showed you uh, about editing your HTML so that now we have a resume, a social media button, and appropriate icons. And I can see my result quickly in any clips if I choose to right-click my index, open with web browser. That way I don't have to go to my device every time. This is faster. I want to create these extra screens. And here's how we can do that. Go back to the, the code of the index file. And all of this works because we're running jQuery Mobile. That's what line 16 is saying. And um, every screen full of content is defined by a div with data role page with a unique identifier, in this case home. So I'm going to need a new div data role page with an ID of resume so that I can see my resume. So I'm going to scroll all the way down past all my existent code. I'm going to see a slash div, which encompasses everything we've seen so far, the data role page ID home. After that slash div, which is line 118 in my case, I'll press enter a couple of times, three times, just for some space. And I'll start typing div. Notice as I finish the div uh, opening tag, Eclipse writes my ending div tag which is slash div. Press enter a couple of times just to space it out. Inside of the div tag I'll continue with data dash role equals quote end quote. Inside the quotes page. Now I have defined a brand new page for my app. A brand new screen full. Space ID equals quote end quote. Now I need to give it a, uh, a name so that I can link to it. In our case resume. I'm going to save that. And I'll just put uh, hello here. Save that on my web browser in Eclipse. Refresh. If I click resume, it takes me to a resume screen, which is of course incomplete, but the point is that now I've created a brand new screen to add content. I'll also create one for social media in a moment, but instead of just creating it very plain like this, I can copy and paste some of my existing code to edit it. So that means if I see my current example, this is why I liked using Codica. It writes the code for me and I can just repurpose it as I need it. Div data role page defines a whole screen. Div data role header defines a top header area, which in my case goes from 25 to 49 because it includes a div of data role navbar. Past that is a div data role content, which is the rest of the, the content inside of the page. And then div data role of footer is the footer area. I'm going to copy and paste that onto my, my resume screen, but actually I'll define it a little bit more. I'm going to add a copyright in the footer of page 1 the home page. So that's line 115. I wrote copyright and then that um, HTML code to create the copyright symbol. Notice the footer also has a data position of fixed, meaning it does not scroll. I want that for the header too, or else the header is going to scroll away. So where is that? Data role header right here, line 25. I'm going to add data dash position equals quotes fixed. Simply what that did was, if I check my web browser preview again, is that when I scroll, the top and the bottom stay fixed. And I added my copyright. I want that same resume, I mean, I want that same nav bar in my resume screen. So I'm going to select everything between 25 and 49. That is my header plus nav bar. Copy that. Scroll down to our brand new page 2. Paste. So I've got uh, a brand new header plus a nav bar. For my resume page. Instead of it saying my name, I'll write here my resume. 
save, check it in the web browser, go to click resume, here's my resume, click home, back to home. Working pretty good so far, of course we still need to refine it. For example, uh, the wrong icon is highlighted when I'm in resume. I want resume to be highlighted, just like it's highlighted in home. Back to our code. The reason the home button is highlighted is because on line 130 we've got a class UI button active UI state persist, which makes the home button active. We'll make it act like it's active. Instead, I'm going to remove that part and paste it. Actually, so select it, cut it, and I'm going to paste it in the same place for resume. So at the end of the line after data icon edit, I'll press enter and then I'll paste. So now my button active, button persist is set to resume. I can confirm that by going back to my web browser, click resume, resume is active, back to home. I need a content area and a footer area. Uh, content, I won't copy and paste this time because it's pretty easy. So here after the div for header, be careful here, we've got two slash divs. After the slash div related to header, if you're not sure which it is, click on it and it'll highlight back to its origin. Press enter, add a div tag, a couple of enters. That div tag needs to be defined as um, data role content. I'll just type some text. Save and check. Save and test. Good. We need footer. On that one I will copy it because I want to include the text I've already written and, and such. So select lines 113 to 117. That's the footer of my first page. Paste after the footer of content. Make sure you're still inside the div of um, the whole page two, resume page. There we go, header, navbar, main content, footer. Now I need something for page three, social media. I can save a little bit of time by copying and pasting basically everything that I did on my second page, which is lines 120 to 155. Copy that whole chunk, paste it afterward. I need to make changes, of course. Day of data roll page, yes, it's still a page. ID resume, nope, now it's our social page. We need a new header text here. We'll call this social media. Our resume is not the button that's no long, that is still active, so we need to move this class UI active uh, and persist down to the social button, just like before. And what else? Uh, maybe a little bit of text here, main text for social just so that I have something to look at to verify I'm on the right page, the right screen. Refresh this. I'm on home. I click social. There we go. Social. Resume. Home. So then I'll start to fill in the content in the next video. So come back for that.